It's a pulled fungi spores, lands on buds, leaves, and growing tips, and germinates, forming white mycelium. <laughs> That's <not> <laughs> <laughs> yep. right, which grow on the tissue surface. Historium then penetrate the leaf epithelium. Which are here. Okay, so, yeah. Mycelium develop into. <coughs> Conidia. <laughs> and Conidia fours, which form a weft of hyphae. At this stage, the rose leaves are infected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, in warm weather, the condylium form condylia, which are spread by wind and infect further leaves. <laughs> and we the land to the sexual reproductive life cycle to go out the plus and negative mating times. The anthridium and ascogonium, and they fuse, and they form this structure, the phytothesium. The cleistothesium then forms mycelium around it, and it can then undergo asexual reproduction or undergo meiosis to um, form ascospores, which is within an ascus. These are the sexual spores. Basically, during the springtime, the cleistothesia is of water and crack open. So the tip of the single ascus in each clastothesium then produces and then burst open and discharge eight mature ascus spores which infects the new male host bites. Yep. This is the sexual spore. Yeah. Should we do it again or was that alright? <laughs>